Hello and welcome back to the video automation blueprint course. So this step-by-step -step course is going to teach you how to make money with YouTube channels without showing your face. So the link to the full course playlist with all the modules is in the description of this video. So make sure you check those out as well. But in this module, I'm going to show you 10 different ways that you can make money from your faceless channel. So let's dive right in. The first is ad revenue. So this is the main uh, thing that people talk about when they talk about faceless channels. This is the money that YouTube's gonna pay you for views that you actually get to your channel. So what YouTube do is they share the advertising revenue that they get with you. So when you see those YouTube ads, advertisers are paying YouTube and YouTube shares that money with you as the channel owner. So if they're watching a video and an advert plays and they watch the advert, um, that, that's actually shared with you. And that's how you make passive income from your channel. So you, first to do that, you need to be accepted into the YouTube partner program. Um, and you to, the, to do that, you need to meet this criteria. You need to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time on your channel. And once you're in, YouTube starts showing ads on your videos. So when you first start, you're not gonna be eligible for this. So you need to um, give YouTube enough you know, proof that you're the real deal and you're producing videos and people are watching your videos and you've got subscribers, then they start showing ads. And you earn this money based on the number of views you get and the clicks you get. And there are different types of ads that will be served on your channel. There'll be skippable ads, non-skippable ads, banner ads, and so on. And each of those, pays differently. Now, effectively, the more people watch your videos, the more money you make. And it also depends on the CPM of your particular niche. So in this course, in other videos of this course, I discuss CPM and what niches have the highest CPM. But if you're in a niche that pays a certain CPM, you'll, you'll make more. So for example, if you're in personal finance or anything to do with money or wealth or something, that will pay you more, a higher CPM than one about you know just entertainment or vlogs or something. It'll pay you more money per view, per thousand views. So if you wanna learn more about CPM and RPM, uh, check out this video on screen right now. So make sure if, you're, if you want to monetize uh, from, uh, from ad revenue, make sure you stick to YouTube's guidelines. And if your content is not marked as advertiser friendly, you might miss out on some earnings. So you really wanna make sure that your, uh, your videos are clean, um, there's nothing untoward or anything that YouTube wouldn't be happy with. So make sure you read those YouTube guidelines as well. I'll put a link in the description of this video to make sure that your your videos are clean. Otherwise, you won't be able to earn money from ad revenue. YouTube won't share that with you if your um, videos aren't appropriate. The second way of earning money from your YouTube channel is affiliate marketing. So what you need to do is find products that complement your channel's theme. So let's say your niche was technology. You could recommend technology products, so tech products in your, with your channel. And you could do that via videos or in the description of your videos. So you could have tech gadgets for a tech channel, you could have makeup for a beauty channel. And what you need to do is actually put these product links in your video descriptions. And when people click on your affiliate link and buy that product or buy that software, you get a commission on that. What you need to do is make sure this isn't just done for money. You need to be very genuine in what you're reviewing or promoting. Uh, make sure that you know what this product is, that you know it delivers a good service, it's a good product. Because when you you have an audience, you've got to make sure that you have that trust. Um, your audience trusts you. And if you break that trust once, then that trust is gone uh, for good. And they're not going to, one, watch your videos anymore. And they're not going to buy the products that you recommend anymore if you lose that trust once. So the best way... I think of doing this is demonstrating a result on a video. So you, you demonstrate that you've got this particular, you've reached this particular goal or you've done this particular thing and you've done it by using this product. And then you show how the video, you, uh, on the video, how you use this product. So you can demonstrate how you used it. So you can do this with any niche and it does apply. So if you, that's a subtle way of selling, uh, but it's very powerful. So if you show that, look, I achieved this result and I, I used this product and I used it like this as well. And you actually show yourself using it, whether it's a actual physical product or it's a digital product, you can do that. So you show yourself using it and getting a result. That's how you're going to uh, get commissions. So what you need to do, you can also use tracking links to make sure uh, which products your audience likes best. And then you can promote the products that make you the most money and get the most interest. So you'll find that some products uh, do better than others. The ones that you recommend, some might do really well. And then you, you can track these these links, these clicks on the links and sales on the links, uh, and you know which one works. Then you can do more of what works. 
You can also reach out to brands for potential affiliate opportunities. So let's say that you like really like a product and you want to promote it. You can actually reach out to them and say, like, do you have an affiliate program? Can I partner up with you? Um, and that leads us into the next way of earning money, which is sponsored content. So what you can do is link up with brands that want to target your audience. So whether this is an affiliate um, promotion, uh, companies will also pay you to talk about their stuff. You don't want to do this too much, by the way, but you want to choose sponsorships that make sense for your content. So you've probably watched podcasts or watched videos where they say this is brought to you by this product and they the YouTube um, presenter talks you through a little short ad in the middle of their content. That's what I mean by sponsorship content. So it's a really good way of getting um, revenue on your channel and it's a good way for companies to, to get that exposure in a legitimate way to an audience without you know, throwing an ad there. It's the actual presenter talking to you about the product. Um, and your viewers, when they when you do this, they shouldn't feel like they're watching a random ad. You should actually talk from your own language. So I really disagree when um, YouTube presenters actually um, read a script. So you can tell they're reading a script. Um, the best thing to do is write it in your own words. So they, they might give you a script, but then you write it in your own words and then you, you say those, those lines on camera. Um, and make sure that you disclose that this video is sponsored, know your content is sponsored. It's all about being transparent, especially in YouTube. You, ca you can't hide behind a, a text website. You have to you know, be very open and transparent about this. And make sure that another tip is to just don't sell yourself short when you're actually um, kind of negotiating your payouts for these sponsored content. You should know your channel's worth uh, when you're discussing the payment. So do look up how much your channel is worth, how many subscribers you got, how many views you get, and then give a, an appropriate value to them. So make sure they don't sell you short on that. But don't do too many sponsored videos. You can do this regularly, but don't do it too much because it can put off your audience as well. You don't want to have ads all over the place and sponsorships all over the place when they know that you're not really being genuine about it. You have to find a good balance. So the fourth way is selling merch or merchandise. So you can create merch that represents your channel's brand or catchphrases, and you can use services like Teespring to design these things and actually sell them online without worrying about inventory or shipping. Um, it's all kind of done via the system. And what you can do is actually show off your merch in your videos. Let's say you've got a brand, uh, a YouTube channel, you can, um, you can show this brand on the videos it's a faceless channel of course so you can't like wear the t-shirt or anything but you can show this this merch in your videos as well via editing uh, and you can use annotations to link to your merch store when someone's watching the video and what you can do is you can run these limited time promotions or discounts for your subscribers so e-commerce is a great way of uh, generating revenue for your channel as well and what it does is it helps your viewers feel part of this exclusive community or club when they when they have your merch when they have like mugs t-shirts and 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 hoodies and all that stuff it helps you feel like they're they're part of a club which means brand loyalty subscribers views and and generate you know that like a snowball effect the fifth way is like donations patreon crowdfunding so you could set up a patreon where fans could support you monthly. And what you do is you offer them little bits behind the scenes. You can uh, offer some exclusive content behind the scenes. And what you do, you can give them videos, you can do a Q&A sessions, you can do a coaching sessions, give them like free eBooks reports, or some behind the scenes content that they don't like, don't see. So if, they, uh, if they're watching you on video or watching your faceless channel, you can give them um, extra videos or bonus things or Q&As uh, in the background as well. So you can use PayPal or Ko-Fi for viewers who prefer making one-time donations as well. So they might not want to subscribe monthly, um, but do, do make sure to shout out or thank your donors as well. Just say thanks for the you know, my Patreon members. It really helps them feel appreciated and, and again, sticks them to you. And make sure that you communicate with your Patreon community. Make sure that if you're on Patreon, you, you're regular with it and keep them invested because if they're you know, communicating with you via Patreon, they're also going to see it when you release a video. Um, just make sure that you, you have that community feel because that will keep people subscribed to you on Patreon. Now, the sixth way is my favorite way, which is digital products and courses. So this is my main business model. And this is what I teach at the online business school, which is my main business. So YouTube automation is a, a kind of a side uh, income. But uh, the online business school is where we teach uh, information products, coaching, building email lists, and so on. This is the, the main crux of online marketing. So what you want to do is turn your expertise into downloadable guides, online courses, and coaching. This is very lucrative. Uh, it's very in-demand information and you know you can have good prices for those and it doesn't cost you a lot to create these these products as well 
and you can offer content that can't be found for free on your YouTube channel. So you can give a lot of content on your YouTube channel, but there's always that stuff that people want to know that's behind a paywall. So you've got to mention your products in your videos and direct viewers to where they can buy them. So you can give people amazing content on free on free videos, but then you can direct them um, to your actual uh, paid products as well, which is exactly what I do on my videos as well. So we give amazing amounts of content. But we also tell people about the online business school where that people can enroll in the school and learn um, those skills, which are digital products, coaching, building newsletters, and tying them up into one business model um, that will be a long-term sustainable source of income. Um, and you wanna use your viewer feedback to improve and expand your offerings. So if they talk to you about certain products they want or certain things they're struggling with, you can create a product on it. So you've got a community, a YouTube community of people actually, um, you know, basically asking questions and they, they say, can you teach us this? Can you teach us that? And you can do all this without showing your face. So if you've got a channel about productivity, you can release a course without showing your face on it. You can have a screen share or you can have eBooks and none of this is showing your face as well. So digital can be something you don't have, um, digital products can be something where you don't show your face um, as well. So if you want me to show you how to get into this business, go to the online business school.org. Uh, and on that note, if you're getting a lot of value from this channel and this video, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're giving you thousands of dollars of value for free on this channel. Um, so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on updates to this course, new free courses, um, and all these step-by-step uh, -step guides. The seventh way of making money with your YouTube channel is by licensing content. So if your un your videos are really unique, this is this is very niche, right? So if they're very high quality, media outlets might want to actually use them. So if you're in that kind of niche, you can reach out to news agencies, TV shows, or other online platforms, and they might be interested in actually using your content and paying you to use it. So you need to understand what rights you're selling. You can sell exclusive rights, non-exclusive rights. You can use time-bound rights so that they're not using it for a certain amount of time. So make sure you get you get clear on your payment terms and usage rights. And um, you know I can't give you that information here in this video, but you can definitely um, consider getting a lawyer or agent to help with these contracts. But you can actually, if you're creating some unique kind of content, you can actually license that to other media um, websites or TV stations, they can actually use your content. Now what about YouTube premium revenue? So YouTube premium subscribers pay for an ad free experience. So I pay obviously for YouTube premium and I don't get ads served on the videos that I watch, but you get a slice of that membership. Um, so the more a premium subscriber watches your content, the more you earn. So you don't only earn on people that don't have premium and, and get served ads. You also get revenue on people that have premium and don't get ads as well. So YouTube have kept it quite fair. But premium revenue depends on watch time. So keep making those binge worthy videos. Make sure you're offering a lot of value. Make sure they're really interesting and engaging and people will keep coming back. Consistency in, in, in releasing videos and consistency in quality of your content keeps people coming back and that boosts your potential earnings. And if a big proportion of your audience uses YouTube premium, this can be a great revenue source. Now, number nine is super chat and super stickers. So if you do live streams, viewers can actually pay to highlight their messages and that's what super chat is. So super stickers are paid animated images that viewers can send during live streams. People do it, okay, even if it's not a huge thing, people actually do it. So you've got to acknowledge these during your stream to uh, encourage more interaction. So if people send super chats, you talk about them and say, look, we just got a super chat from this person uh, for this much, I really appreciate that. And then you answer their question and you can see people adding super stickers on there as well, which kind of highlights them. So you say shout out to that person as well. And you can offer to answer their questions or you can uh, shout out in exchange for super chats as well. So you're like, I'll shout out anyone who gives a super chat. And if you do regular streams, if you do live streams, it can make this quite a consistent thing. So there's a lot of, um, for example, crypto and stock channels who, who record live streams daily and then people actually do this. This happens on a daily basis, so it's a proper source of income for them. Now the 10th way is channel memberships. So viewers actually pay a monthly fee to become a member of your channel. So some channels actually have memberships and you can actually offer them members only content. You can offer them badges, custom emojis and so on private content and just let your viewers know about the perks of joining give real value behind this and you'll get proper memberships and you can host members only live chats q a sessions coaching so get your get feedback from your viewers about what they'd like to see in this membership and they'll tell you what they want you produce it and then you get paid on a on a regular basis right so the next module in this course is where we really get started in your channel so 
don't leave, keep watching the course and you'll see it on the screen right now. And if you're really serious about making money online, just make sure to subscribe to this channel so you never miss these full step-by-step -step courses. And I'll talk to you in a bit.